If you are new here, my name is Linda Lee. This December, I was able to tag along on my first ice fishing trip with Fishing with Rod. Our target species being brook trout. This species is native to eastern Canada and is stocked by fisheries in BC. Even though they are commonly called trout, they are actually char. I want to do it. How am I going to learn to do an angle if you don't let me do it? Okay. This trip was full of new experiences for me. I learned to use an electric auger and the process and proper setup for ice fishing. Hmm? So you might hate me, this one might be too shallow. Okay. My original thinking was ice fishing was just an excuse to get drunk and be lazy all day. But boy, was I wrong. After hauling everything in a sled onto the ice, drilling holes, setting up the tent and rods, I was fascinated when I sat down to see how clear the view was through the holes. Tons of Daphnia and other small invertebrates were still swimming in the water this late in the year. The tent was also very warm and cozy. It's the first time out here for this season, so we just decided to anchor right here. This is kind of like where I fished in the past and done pretty well. Um, two different setups. So one is a pretty light setup, um, two to six pound. The other one's eight to ten. So this one's got a tiny little jig head for you to put bait on, and the other one's got a swing bait. Yeah, it's really fun, kind of exploring, and then we just wait. <laughs> it's like looking through a glass aquarium. Yeah, it's kind of hot. Right? It's taking like. That's <laughs> why I took mine off too. I'm like, it's yeah. warm. Ooh, sweating. My swimmer looks like a happy shine and just kind of... Tons of copepods in the water. Yeah. You know what's more interesting than fish? Microscopic life. Yeah, invertebrates. Oh, uh, fish, 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 fish coming. Go, go into yours. Go into yours. Watch. Just, see it, yeah, see it. yeah, it's gonna come back. Grab your rod slowly and... Give it a... Just grab its attention and it'll come back. It was a good sized fish, actually. So one thing I noticed with the ice fishing is that there's always something to do. <laughs> oh, oh, big one, big one, huge, huge fish! Actually... That is a massive fish, did you see it? No, I didn't. Oh, it's gonna get it. It's, oh, it's gonna... Come on, come on, come on, come on, grab, grab, grab. Come grab, grab, grab. I'm too, I'm oh, too Oh high. my god, oh I'm my too god. High. That fish is huge. He was right by that's nine. That's a massive, that, that's a smaller one. That's a smaller one though, the one just... Oh, there's... Oh my goodness, that was a big fish. I actually do, I enjoy watching them. Sight fishing yeah. has to be one of the funnest. I know, right? Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. Is it a big one? Oh my god, oh, Rodney oh, Copperbottom. Oh, that's a big one, that's a big one. I know. You're gonna keep that. My, my reel's coming off. Okay. Oh, oh, no, okay, there, yeah. I got it. Wait, got what? It. Here's, a, here's a rack. Holy shit, I just freaking oh, 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 Holy shit. <laughs> Holy doodle. <laughs> Big one! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh my! Oh. I don't need no rag. They're not that cold. Okay, how long have we been out here? Um, so look at how fat! Oh my god, that was in like a few seconds too. Like that yeah, little one yeah. looked, and I'm like, yeah. and then I'm like, oh my god, he looked at it, he looked at it, and then I'm like, I got him! Run, run! <laughs> we uh, we fished for just just under an hour, I think. Oh, look oh, at the nice. color! Beautiful. Yeah. They literally are. They're like bronze. So, so this is kind of like your biggest brook trout so far. Yeah, I've only ever really caught like really piddly. Yeah. Really piddly oh. ones. I love the colors on brook trout. Brook char. Feels wrong to call them trout. They're yeah. not trout. And the white on the bottom of their fins yeah. is another beautiful. Hungry. Hungry. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Big fish, big fish. It's so big one, big one, big one, big one, The second day started again with the same setup. The day was much more productive, and watching the oh. fish kept us entertained oh. all day. Oh, small. Small ones.
Oh, oh, oh. That's a nice one. Okay, cool. Oh. Keep it. Frozen? Like, I don't yeah, yeah. Oh, oh he's injured. Okay, yeah. He has yeah. gills. Yeah. What, what, what's wrong with these fish? All their tails and, like, fins, they all have... <sighs> Seriously, what's wrong with these fish? Mm. Yeah. Like the other one had no fin. This Whoa. one's literally got an exposed gill. Like there's just nothing there. Yeah. Well. I mean, it wouldn't be painful. It's just things could nibble on yeah, it and stuff. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get brunch going, and uh, in the corner of my eye, I saw <laughs> a huge one going from the shallows. It's, this one gobbled down the bait. They look way bigger in the water. Like I was like, Whoa. yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I gotta cook some brunch here. <laughs> and put this in here. Good day so far. Good day. Cooking and <laughs> cooking and um, fishing at the same time is probably not a good idea. This is gonna be interesting. I got egg shells on one side. I got beaten egg on one side. I got sausages <laughs> going on. I got, got, I got propane. I need like a landing net. Caught up in the weed down there. Oh no. Oh no, it's coming up. Okay, it's coming up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Perfect eating size fish. So this one is a little smaller than the other one, but it's still very nice. Beauty. Today was a tiring day for me. Yeah. But we have a decent harvest. Third day brought us strong winds and a day of fish taunting us. Uh, originally, I wanted to fish two different lakes, but it always takes a bit of time to kind of, um, I guess, get used to one lake. So after two days of trials and errors, um, we decided to come back again, and hopefully today we'll. We'll get a lot more fish than the last two days. So one thing I decided to do this year is having this tub of water. Um, this should make fish handling a little easier. If you if we decide to release the fish, you can just bring the fish in here, handle the thing, so letting it flop in your ice. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's so far it's worked pretty well. Oh, that was a bigger one. They both didn't look at it. They're both huge. Yeah, one. No, oh, there's a whole bunch of them coming now. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> one, the one that looked at oh, mine, I don't know what you saw, because I only saw I one. I saw two big ones, oh, I think, yeah. I saw one big one, yeah. and there was a smaller one. Yeah. And, um... Okay, we've been here, like, less than an hour. And within that time, first it was, like, as soon as we set up, a tiny little fish swam by. So I'm like, okay, well, at least there's fish here. And then, like, a school of little ones showed up. And then all of a sudden, like three big ones showed up like all together and then and then one big one came up looked at mine bit mine but i had my, my bait was too big and i didn't i didn't get him he had it in his mouth and i'm so disappointed so he got lost and now i'm just sitting here and my heart's like racing i'm so excited oh Ooh, big one just his tail slapped my bait Giant brookies swam by throughout the day, and it was super painful not hooking up with any. Just when we were thinking of leaving, I finally got one last light. So, yeah, that's been the hardest book trout. Here's the towel, oh. the towels. Like, how am I supposed to 
to grab it with this. It's frozen. Oh, another one. Go into yours. Something's gonna happen though, they keep on back. Nothing did ever happen after my first and only fish of the day. We still had a snowy drive back on the Coquihalla to the mainland ahead of us. All in all, I had an amazing experience and cannot wait to do it again. Thank you for watching and feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys all soon.